Hi, it's Fab Paulie here. Welcome back to BizJet TV. It's Captain Fab, actually, and as you see, I'm in a different location today. So I'm just going to call the ship and get beamed up. Captain, here. Want to beam up, please? Welcome back to my starship. I'm on the Enterprise and today I'm here in my Star Trek uniform on my starship because I'm talking to you about the future. And I'd like to talk about artificial intelligence in the cockpit. Now this is something that we don't have at the moment. There are some private jets that operate as called single pilot, so it only requires one pilot and that's because of the type of avionics and that that's, that's in the aeroplane. We're going to be seeing a lot more of this. But I'd like to uh, point to something that you may have seen that the film Sully film Sully with, with Tom Hanks is a story about this Airbus A320 that had double engine failure as it took off from New York and landed on the Hudson River. Now in the in the movie, which is a, a true story, uh, the pilots get taken in front of um, the NTSB uh, to analyse why the accident happened and in the beginning they said it was the pilots sh made the, the, the wrong decision. Okay, And what they said is that because when we ran the simulation in the simulator, uh, the best thing for the pilots would have been turn around right away and land back at the airport they took off from. But what they didn't take into consideration is the human factor. Now when something like that hits, I mean getting a double engine failure is something very, very unusual. And so they took off, they hit all these geese, the engine started to spool down, and by the time the pilots figured out what was going on, and there, was a, there was about 35 to 40 seconds that, that ran by. And during those 40 seconds, this airplane is moving through the sky. So by the time they made their decision, they were too far away from the runway, so they had to ditch the airplane into the Hudson River. Now, it's remarkable what they did. The pilot was extremely skilled because he managed to land in one piece and all the 155 people on board and the crew and everything survived. So it's incredible and remarkable. And I remember so many different courses that I've done uh, with the airlines about ditching. They always would say to us, if you have to ditch the airplane, it's going to break in pieces and a few people will survive. And then suddenly this guy manages to land an Airbus 320 on the Hudson River. But let's go back to the whole artificial intelligence thing. Now, if there had been a form of artificial intelligence on the flight deck with the pilots, that artificial intelligence would have calculated immediately that the best option was for them to turn around and go back to the airport they took off from. So the airplane would have turned around immediately, they would have landed back at the airport in New York, and the airplane would have been in one piece and, 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 and nobody would have been traumatized as a result of this. So I think that artificial intelligence will be coming into the cockpit very soon. Uh, we will we'll see um, the airlines will and, and, the, and the aircraft manufacturers will basically produce these cockpits with this AI so it will only require one human pilot and there'll be one AI, maybe a robot, or you may be able to have a robot sitting next to you and, and beam a human being into, into, into the robot, virtually speaking, and this other pilot will actually be on the ground. You'll beam them in, um, in into, the, um, into the robot that's sitting next to the captain. That's one way of doing it, or the other way of doing it is having a form of AI which talks to you a bit like Siri, a bit like these, these other gadgets that we already have that we're talking to to surf on the internet and that. Now, this is coming soon in the next five to ten years, um, and I think artificial intelligence is going to be a good thing is going to improve flight safety um, and, and make us all safer flyers. So if you have any comments, please comment below or questions. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, do so. That's all from Captain Fab here on the Enterprise. And share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.